Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, we are going to be doing some fun smiley nails. I've just posted a short doing this design on a single nail. However, I love it so much. I really want to do a full set of nails of it. This is actually a set that I saw someone on TikTok do. I will try and insert a little clip of what they did if I can. I can't remember if it was by now, but I'm going to try and tag them and share a little clip with you so you guys can see. It's so beautiful and it involves reflective glitter gels and I love reflective glitter gels. So it was just, I have to do it. It's one of those, I have to do it. I want it to go off my frame on the wall because it's just so pretty. Hopefully I can do it and it'll come out right. But yeah, I thought I would just pop on the camera and do the set with you. I'm just going to do one now. Whilst talking to you guys and I'll do the rest of it, I'll just whack on a bit of music. But I started off with this Model Ones nude gel polish. I'm actually nearly out of it now because I love it so much. I'm gonna have to repurchase it. But it's just the perfect like nude colour for a base. Obsessed. So I've geared that for 30 seconds and I'm gonna give it another coat. I'm really hoping I can get this bottle of gel to last as long as it's set. It's literally that empty. I'm having to tip it upside down to get anything on the brush. So definitely going to have to repurchase this because very rarely do I run out of bottle gel polish. But this one I reach for so often. So I definitely think it's worth repurchasing. Uh, if you like this, I will tag a link to this set. I think it's called the Lipstick Collection for Model Ones. But I will leave a link for it in my description box. If you guys want to check it out because there's some really beautiful colours in that collection. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm just going to cure that again for 30 seconds and then we're going to top coat it. Okay, so I'm going to use this one from Coco or Co oh, I don't know, I did a review on these recently though and it's actually a really nice top coat. I've just got another new top coat, a rubber top coat, but I used it for the other set and I realised it went on wipe and I just don't like it. So I thought I'd use this one for this set because it is a lovely, lovely top coat. It's really nice and shiny and pretty. I will link... I'll put a little tag up on the screen of the video where I reviewed quite a few products from this brand actually. They were all really nice. This is quite a simple set really, but I feel like it's a really good set for the summer. And I just feel like it's a really happy, chirpy set. And I just can't help myself. I just feel like I have to do it. And I really hope you guys like it too. It's a bit of spare at the moment. I haven't planned this out. I was literally only going to do the one nail for my YouTube shorts and then... I just sat at my desk and like, you know what, I need to do it in a whole entire set. So it's a bit of a spontaneous video. There. Yep, let's gear this one for 60 seconds. Okay, so we've got that one all cured. I'm just going to buff off that shine so I can paint on it and do some sort of like trippy, drippy, smiley faces on it. But I'm going to do the buffering off camera just because it's horrible noise. So there we go, we are all shine free for the most part. I'm going to do different colours in each nail but I'm going to start off this one with sort of the yellowy and orangey tones. I'm trying out these new brushes today as well. They are from this brand or Famelson. They're really cheap. They're like six or seven quid or something for a pack with like every single nail brush you could need. Main problem is with them is they're not that thin. They're not really the most ideal for freehand as such if you're trying to do fine lines but for what I'm about to use them for they're fine and I'll choose a different brush in a bit to do the outline. So yeah, I've got my little palette there. I'm just going to dive into each colour and I'm just going to do little smiley faces, but well, I'll do the main base. A little smiley face, if that makes any sense. But like I said, I'm just going to do this one with you whilst waffling because it'll end up being a really long video and I'll just be sat here talking shit if I keep talking. So I'm just going to do the one with you and then I'll show you guys the other ones on camera, but I'll just stick on some music so you don't need to sit here listening to me waffle for ages. But I'm sure just going to fill them in like that. Try not to get too thick really, but... They just look so cute. I haven't fallen in love with a set of nails like this in a while. I'm really excited today. I placed an order on Sheen this morning. I've got one hell of a haul coming for you guys. Trust me on that one, one hell of a haul. I got myself a new silicon hand and I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I can't wait to show you guys. Looking at it online, it looks incredible and all the reviews are really good. It looks super realistic but super affordable. And it, yeah, it looks incredible. So I'm really hoping it will be as good as it looks on the um, in person than what it does on the internet. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that one. That'll be coming literally as soon as I rise, I'll do a video because I'm so excited. It's quite a big haul, 
But you guys, if you know Sheen, Shine, however you want to pronounce it, they're not expensive. So affordable. And when you guys hear the prices I've paid for some of these bits, I think you will be just as excited as I am. And I reckon you'll all be jumping to go get some bits yourselves. That's insane prices. I feel like that one's a little bit too circular. Let's try and make that one a little bit more wobbly. Like so. Okay, I'm going to go for some yellow. I'm going to do that down here. I'm just doing like wobbly, wibbly wobbly. If you see in my short anyway that I posted, you probably like know exactly what I'm doing and how I went about it. But yeah, I just, I feel like I have to get all my colours out and do a full set of this one. I love like the drippy smiley faces. Really want to get a phone case of them on. Really excited about that. Um, I don't know if I've picked way too many colours there. Just go like from there. And I'm sort of trying to pick colours that all sort of blend in, so sort of similar colour, just different shades kind of thing. And that's what I'm going to do on the other nails. So I'll do like a blue one, maybe with blues and purples. And like pinks and reds. And I'm just kind of go from there. But this brown tone. Like it is brown, but it still will feel kind of goes with like the orangey yellow vibe. It's quite a quick, easy set, really. I feel like this is quite beginner friendly, but they look really effective. But I'd love to hear your guys' opinions if there's anything in particular you want to see me do, whether it be nail art or whether you want me to review a particular product. You have to let me know down in the comment section. Because Trying to get better at posting more videos regularly again. I've been doing alright the last couple of weeks. I have got quite a few video ideas. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. I'm just going to cure that and see if I lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some I'm Elite Reflective Glitter Gel. These are beautiful. They're the more brighter, vibrant glitter gels I have. And I've got these two, the orange and gold. And then now that is cured, we've got my little palette. So I'm going to use the gold one for the sort of more yellowy tones. I'm just going to go over that, but I don't want it to like, pull the colour out too much. But as you can see, yeah, the colour's still there. So I'm going to use that one on that one as well. And just make it look really cute. I just love reflective glitter gel. I've just never quite had enough of the reflective glitter gel. But I'll still want it. I don't really feel like I need that one now. So I have this really horrible habit of putting way too much paint on my palette. So I just feel like it's a waste. Because I probably ain't going to use it now. I'm just going to dry, cure, and go in the bin. It's such a waste of gel polish. I really need to get better at getting the correct amount out. just feel like this is going to be amazing. I'm hoping this will look a bit better than the one did on my shorts because that was my sort of first, first try. I just don't feel like I did my smiley faces very well on the one I did on my shorts. I'm hoping this one will come out much better. It doesn't really matter too much if you don't stay like perfectly on the thing because we're going to outline it in black anyway. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Hoping it'll look really cool underneath the um, the torch in a bit. I might even do a set like this on my own nails if they come out well, but yeah. Let's cure that for 30 seconds. Now that's all cured, we're going to just give it a quick wipe over with some IPA. Just make sure if the colour sort of want to go to top coat here, hopefully the colour's going to run. Looking a bit dull at the moment, but it will look lovely, trust me. Alright, so we're going with that glossy top coat again. I'll give it a nice thick coat or top coat just because I want to buff it down and smooth it out a bit because my other one was slightly lumpy and bumpy. I'm hoping to get a less lumpy and bumpy one <laughs> this time. Not too bad, it's not really noticeable, it's just I'm quite anal, I like stuff to be relatively smooth. So I like to be quite generous with the top coat sometimes, like really lag on there. It just kind of helps. Smooth it all out. So yeah, cure that for 60 seconds. So I'm going to do the outline of the smiley faces with this. A G it's GD Coco Black Gel Polish. I'm polished by Aggie Gave This To Me. And trust me, it's the best thing in the world. It's so pigmented. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit messy. I've had it for ages now. But it is one of the best things ever for doing fine line painting. And yeah, it's ridiculously pigmented. Love it. Then I'm going to use my Kiki little fine liner brush. I've got to get myself one of these. Best brush for fine lines. 
and it's like one pound thirty or something on aliexpress it's amazing i always have this link to my description box every single one of my videos if you're looking for a good brush trust me this is the one so i'm probably gonna do each line and then flash gear in between just to make sure it doesn't move at all I don't accidentally smudge it because I know what I'm like I just want to try and do some fine line it's been a while, free hands always been like my thing however I'm so shaky these days compared to what I used to be so I don't know whether it's going to really come out to my full potential but I'm going to try and get away with leaving that without flash gear in it for a sec I'll probably do the top ones and then flash gear for 10 seconds and then do the bottom ones afterwards I think I do like working on tips like this so rather than the hand just because you can rotate it's so much easier to paint like this than what it is on silicon hand when you're bending it here there and everywhere and struggling to get an angle but this is precisely why I said I'll just do the one for you guys because it does take me ages when I'm freehand painting and I'll just bore you guys completely to death I think if I sit here and waffle them throughout the whole entire thing I'm going to be about tired, it's like 10 past 10 at night right now I should be going to bed I'm probably going to be sat here till come midnight I reckon doing this set but I just can't like do half a sentence or leave it and come back I'm going to have to finish it because I get so excited about seeing the end results it's such a happy feeling that like, it don't happen often when you do a set of nails but there's a really happy feeling when you do a set of nails that you actually like and you get so excited to share them with everyone and you're just really proud of them I've got these little um, box frames up on the wall I've got three of them I'll try and insert a picture if I can and that's where all my favourite nail work goes I've not managed to fill them up yet I've got more more of my nail work stuffed in a cardboard box underneath my desk because that's all stuff I don't like and then yeah I've had these box rooms for years now and I've never managed to fill them up just simply because I don't like my nail work enough I think once I do eventually get around to filling them up I'll also eventually start taking certain sets out and replacing them with fresh sets and I love having them like days where I get like down about my nail works I've done a bad set or something I'll look at that box frame and it's sort of just it's a good reminder I do all right sometimes <laughs> all right time to cure all right let's see if I can do this looking a bit better because this is where I went wrong last time for the first time I did like little dots and then I didn't like it for the eyes because I'm going lines like so we could have held it at a better angle so you guys could see you in it so I'm looking so intensely at the nail work that I quite often go out of frame. Don't mean to, I really don't, but I'm gonna try and start with the happiest face. But we want a wiggly face. That's better, that's what I wanted. Cause I sounded well Cornish then, didn't I? I live in Cornwall, but I'm not actually Cornish. But I do definitely come out with some Cornish things sometimes. I don't think we're gonna be able to get some eyes on this one. But we can give a wiggly, I'll get a slight eyelet. Eye, eye. You can see why I like this black gel incredible but I'll forever be grateful to Aggie for giving me this one because it's perfection all right wiggle 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 yeah that was a bit thicker than intended I like it though and then I I and then wiggle wiggle oh shit Mm, no, I'm not happy with that. But luckily, because I'm working down the nail, everyone else is cured. Which means I'm going to worry about everything else. I'm going to swipe it away. Job's are good. And I'm going to try again. So, wiggle. I've done it again. That's not as thick, though. Yeah, I think that looks alright. I actually find it harder to paint with nails on. But... I love having my nails on. Yeah, cool. All right, give that for five seconds. So I'm going to do half and half top coat wise. I'm going to do matte and glossy. I'm using a UMIX matte top coat because I'm my favourite one at the minute. But again, I'm nearly out. <laughs> I really need to get myself some new products, don't I? I've got loads of glossy top coat, but because I always use matte top coat typically, that's one thing I'm always running really low on. I could do with just going and buying myself like a whole hoard of it, like 10 balls. We are nearly through now, literally got to cure this. 
add some glossy top coat here and there and you guys will see where I'm going with it. Right, the final thing now, so some glossy top coat in my palette here and we're actually just going to gloss over all the smileys and then the nail is done. Voila, there we go. So that is the first one to a set, that's going to be like a centre nail. What do you guys think? It's pretty isn't it? Well after that. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys in peace now. I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video where I'm going to do the other nails. I'm going to stop waffling too. I'll be back at the end, but yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so thank you to anyone that's actually stuck with this. I know it's probably a little bit boring watching that be very repetitive, but we're all done. What do you guys think? It's 10 past midnight, it's definitely my bedtime, and yeah, I'm very tired. However, I'm happy that I pushed them through and I've got them done. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight, let's see how they look with the flashlight. There we go. I love the sparkle. 
It's so pretty. It's quite subtle, it's not really putting through too much on there, is it? Well, it looks better in person, I really don't think the camera's doing that justice. But I love it so much. It's so pretty! So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for sticking through that with me if you have. Look at them. They're not like quite as how I pictured them, but they're not bad at all. They're different, aren't they? They're just unique and different. So I can't really complain. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of practice, but they're all right. Yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, if you've got any ideas for any future videos, like nail one signs or product reviews you'd like to see me do, please let me know down in the comments below. But for that, I hope you all have a great day with you're doing. Much love to you all, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!